This may sound like background noise to some, but to the catfish farmers in Greensboro, Alabama, it's music to their ears. He's, he's trying to get out. He'll eventually get out of there. <laughs> that voice belongs to a local catfish farmer who set up shop here almost 30 years ago. With over 800 acres of ponds to manage, he says it's hard to find some quiet time to think. And I can do that while I'm feeding because the, my feed truck is my office a lot of days. There's a lot to think about. His farm is dead center of Alabama's Black Belt. The region is named for the rich soil that brought thousands of farmers here in the 1800s. But according to the Center for the Study of the Black Belt, that's all changed. What you saw as the soil um, depleted or as these agricultural crops became less lucrative, of course many people left the area. That means the Black Belt has stayed rural, with few opportunities for job growth. Eight of its 19 counties are among the 100 poorest in the country. Since the recession, unemployment here has spiked to 20 percent, double the national average. The catfish industry provided jobs to many workers, but now there's another threat to their survival, competition from China. It's been a real uh, down, downside for us because it kept our prices low because their, the competition, they were selling fish cheaper under us. Controversy over imports led to legislation in 2009 when Alabama passed a country of origin law. It requires restaurants to reveal the origin of their seafood. The, our hope is not really that they can't raise fish, but they could feed them to their own people. But the competition has benefits. Ten miles away, another farmer has owned his Greensboro farm for three decades. With so many other farmers shutting down, his business has seen a big boost. You know, the, the China imports coming in have, have put a lot of fish farmers out over the last couple of years, and supply of fish is down now. And uh, we're actually getting paid 95 cents to a dollar a pound for our fish today. Back across town, one farmer is getting ready to pack up these fish. No matter what happens in this global seafood feud, he says he's staying put. He's got millions of fish to feed, and he has to make sure this one stays in the net.